Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Honest Homemaking. And this week we're talking about how I did on my starting a daily routine. And to be honest, I didn't do very well. <laughs> I'm going to say that it was a busy week, right? Because it was my middle son's birthday. He turned 12 on Friday, Friday the 13th. He wanted to have a themed Friday the 13th birthday party, um, which was a lot of fun. We had a blast. Uh, I made him like these vanilla cupcakes with like vanilla frosting and then like blood splatters on them. Um, he had a sleepover, so we had kids here over the weekend and it was fun. It was a lot of fun, but of course my house this morning was destroyed. It's Monday. So I had to spend this morning cleaning up after the party and uh, okay, so let me just give you an update on how it went with my, I have it here. This is my daily list that I made for myself. This list actually works out really well on the days that I do it. I plan to do an entire video about this, but I'm kind of a, you know how they say like you're type A or you're type B or whatever? Well, I'm definitely not a type A because I wish I was a type A. I really and truly do. Uh, but I'm definitely not really a type B either. They say that a type B person is supposed to be, boy, look at this hair. Um, a type B person is supposed to be chaotic but creative and I'm not a creative person at all like I have zero creativity in my body so I don't know how I ended up being like a type B brain with I got like none of the benefits of either anyway so what I've been trying to do is this is my last week and it looked so pretty and I was so proud of it. And I didn't do any of this stuff. I did like a little, like little things. We did take the dog to the vet. <laughs> uh, anyway, I paid the bills and things like that. But I'm gonna try to do the same thing again and hope that over time I can use my planner more, be more productive and things like that. Because I have, my entire life, I have been unorganized. I have been scatterbrained. I have forgotten a lot of things. I, I wait till the last minute for absolutely everything. And truthfully, I'm getting tired of my own crap. And I feel like I've been saying that on my channel here now for like months. But I am attempting on a regular basis to change things. And... Since I have spring cleaned, things have been somewhat different in our home. They have been cleaned more often. I'm not, you can look around by all of our stuff. We have so much stuff still after spring cleaning and purging. Um, but you can look around from our stuff and see that we're not minimalists. But the concept of getting rid of all of this extra stuff has really helped us a lot. We have... I mean, I am more productive just in the getting rid of the stuff that I did get rid of. Um, so I am making an effort to change things and to find something that works for me. And I think that that's really the difficult part is, you know, you see other YouTubers or like Fly Lady. I loved Fly Lady when I found it and then I just, I fell off the wagon. Um... I still love the concept of Fly Lady systems. Um, I think that if there were something that would work for me, that would be it. But I think that the most important thing that I'm going to have to do is just do something. And I also have that personality trait where, you know how you get like paralyzed by all the overwhelming amount of stuff? Sorry, I have the hiccups. Um, but you get paralyzed by all the overwhelming amount of stuff that you have to do. Like, Zach's party is Friday, so I'm trying to be productive this week and, like, get out in front of it and get the stuff that I need to, done, to get done done. Um, and I really i am hoping that through documenting this on YouTube and sharing it with you guys, maybe that will hold me accountable, and maybe it will help you too, because... The most eye-opening part 
of starting a YouTube channel has been the fact that there are so many other people like me. Mostly women watch my channel and I love getting the comments where people say that they can relate because I feel like the only one who cannot get my stuff together. I am soon to be the mother of four. I am 31 years old and I still am not good at housekeeping. I'm not good at being a homemaker and I'm trying. So, like if I showed you, I didn't clean up the dishes from dinner last night. Look at that. Can you see them over there? There they are. Yeah, pot still on the stove, cheese balls on the counter. But I mean, other than that, it's, it's really not that messy. But I am an imperfect person, as I love to say, and I'm a work in progress. It's Tuesday and day two of trying to do a daily list and then I will show you how it's going so far okay so it's crinkly but you may have seen this on YouTube or on Instagram but this is my list this is my morning list you can see this morning I did not wipe the bathroom I did not make the bed I did not start laundry but I did do those things I did none of my afternoon list so that was a big fail, and I'm getting ready to do the before bed list. Uh, because I didn't start the laundry, I have nothing to switch. I do need to neaten the living room up. The dishes will be done, and obviously dinner prep's done. So if I just get this stuff done really quickly, then I will be done. And we have Zach helped, Leo helped, and I have been washing these dinner dishes. So really there's... The kitchen is not in like completely terrible shape. Good morning. Six thirty. I literally just woke up. I'm getting ready to get started on this morning list.
right, so I'm making pretty good progress on my morning list, except I haven't made the bed and got Leo dressed in breakfast, and that's because he is still asleep and in my bed. On Monday, I did really well. I did the entire list, obviously, because that was the last day that I put up a video. On Tuesday, I did really well. And I put in my planner here a little, like a Wednesday check-in with myself because usually by the time I make it to midweek, I've lost all my motivation and I don't even look at my planner um, for the rest of the week. So on Wednesday, I put in like, you know, some like motivational quotes and stuff like stay focused and be productive. And I'm literally reading that like verbatim out of my planner here. But as you can see, the first half of my planner for last week looks great. I did really well with checking in and marking things off. Second week or second half of the week does not look so good. As I've already told you, Saturday and Sunday, I really don't check in, but Thursday and Friday are pretty bare. Uh, I did my list really well Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, I did about half of it, uh, and then Thursday and Friday, I completely failed. So, I want to talk about some things that I want to do differently this week. Like, for starters, as you guys know, I spend way too much time on this. Uh, I... I spend the time like texting Chris and taking pictures and videos of Leo and reading the news and watching Instagram and scrolling Facebook because Facebook is on my phone again. So I this week I need to make a conscious effort from the time that Chris leaves in the morning, which has been about 7 o'clock, 6.30, 7 o'clock, until he comes home, I need to start putting the phone away. Yes, it is my contact with him throughout the day. So I still want to be in contact with him throughout the day. We talk. He's my best friend. We talk all day long. and But I spend too much time on my cell phone. It, it's, it is... I'm really good at helping my kids manage their time on their phones. Like, we use this thing called Circle by Disney. Um... It's amazing. It helps us keep our kids' phones turned off while they're at school and while it's their bedtime. So, you know, I, I need to be better about limiting myself, right? I'm the parent. Uh, I need to lead by example. So this week, I'm going to make a conscious effort to leave it plugged in. Um, not in the kitchen, because I spend a lot of time in here in the kitchen, and that is, you know, a way to for me to be distracted. So I need to find somewhere that I can put it. I don't want it in the bedroom because then I won't know if I hear from Chris. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But I have to spend less time on the phone. So while I'm sitting here, I'm going to delete Facebook and Messenger again because I, I do better when that's gone. There you go. It's gone. And... I'm just going to make a more conscious effort conscious effort to spend less time on my phone this week. Um, I'm going to try to stick with this list again and see if I can make it all five days. And another thing that I want to do, I forgot to get it. So another one of the things that I want to do is I want to start reading this. Okay, so if anybody knows who, uh, let's see, so if you recognize this book, you will know that it is written by Cass, and I believe her channel, or Cassandra is her name. I believe her um, YouTube channel is just called Clutterbug. 
and I had a few people suggest her channel to me and I have already I've already been watching her right but um, apparently <laughs> she used to be disorganized and chaotic and scatterbrained like I am and I want to start reading this book like uh, you know a little bit every night we we're very busy in the evenings because we are a family of five um, so you can imagine that after the kids get home from school it's quite chaotic but I really want to read this book because I think that it will help me a lot and I think that it will help me stay motivated so I'm going to try to read a little bit of that every evening and another thing that I really want to start trying to do is have dinner made earlier because what happens is I don't end up cooking dinner until like 8.30, which means we don't eat until 9 or 9.30, and then the kids go to bed shortly after that, and I'm pregnant and exhausted. So I need to start trying to make dinner a little earlier in the day because I really think that um, that is another one of my biggest downfalls. I... Even though last week wasn't a complete win, I don't want to call it a complete failure either because I have, I'm trying to learn from what did not work last week, right? So I know that the cooking in the evening hindered me. I know that spending time on my phone hindered me. And so I'm just trying to make a conscious effort here to change that. And I don't want this video to be terribly long, so I'm probably going to just leave you with that. Um... I'm going to check in with you again next Monday. I was hoping this week that I would be working on like some weekly tasks, but I don't want to put too much on myself when, when this isn't completely under control yet. So uh, I did reach out to some other ladies on YouTube and asked if they wanted to collab with me, and I'm super excited. I've got a few responses, so uh, I will link their videos in the description below. So if you want to see what's working or not working for some other mamas, if you want to see the way that they do their routines and things like that, be sure to check out their channel and tell them that I'm, I'm the one that sent you so that they know uh, where you're coming from. And be sure to give them a little bit of love because, you know, it's, we, we're moms and we're women and we're tired. So, you know, we can all use a little love and encouragement. And... If you have any other suggestions for me on how to stay focused and be more productive, you guys were so helpful and so encouraging on my last video. Um, that's how I don't feel discouraged today. I have all of your comments and I, I, you know, just all of your positivity that you left on last week's video. It, it makes me feel like even though I'm not, even though last week wasn't perfect, I'm not going to give up because... I don't know. I'm just going to keep on pushing through. You guys are amazing. And uh, be sure to tune in next week. Um, and hopefully I will have this down pat and be able to be working on my weekly routines. Um, I'm hoping Friday to have a baby update for you. Um, this, this belly is out of control. So be sure to subscribe so that you can see those upcoming videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.